Hello, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Mark, as you already know, and today I will be unboxing something really, really big again. It's a 1 to 12 Lamborghini by Auto Art, and actually, here is the box. Yeah, it's really again huge, it's bigger than my head, as you can see, and I'm really excited. I purchased this one on eBay for 400 ducks. <laughs> 400 bucks okay and um, I am now a little bit sad because uh, I also paid almost 100 for the postage and here you see this big hole in the box yeah so it says fragile so why the hell we have a big hole here like somebody kicked the box literally they smashed it I don't know what happened. Guys, but I was waiting like one month for this box. Incredible, because it was from Greece within the European Union and it took one month. And now this came in. So what should I do? Like return it or not accept it just because, you know, I was waiting such a long time and send it back or what? So now I am unboxing this damaged box and I'm really excited what will be inside. If this will be again a disaster, like with the Diesenberg that was in pieces, yeah, I had to assemble it completely. Let's start here, it's really huge and I want to cut it here. It says fragile and as you can see, nobody really paid attention to uh, carefully handle this box. And I'm really, really excited. Okay, so good. the good thing is that they used uh, the styrofoam chips and they have plenty of them and so hopefully okay so maybe it will not be such a huge problem yeah i will just take this camera to show you uh, here you see that it's full of those chips so it's a good sign i will put this back and now I will be hopefully able to remove it undamaged. Yes. Wow. I think it will be a lot of mess everywhere. Yeah, so I don't know how to do that. Maybe like this, so it's not falling everywhere. So, let me just quickly clean the desk. Okay. Cool, so we have the box here now. Okay, the box is here and hopefully it will be all okay. Let me just cut it here. It looks like, oh, they really packed it quite well here. Yeah? I am not, not that disappointed anymore. I must say, they paid a lot of attention when they were packing this model, but obviously the postal service was not that careful. All right.
okay. Huh. Funny thing, it says here, you see, 460 euro, but then I managed to negotiate 400, and this is what I also paid on eBay. And now I don't know which side is the top side. Probably it should be like this, okay? But it doesn't look like the original box. Now I'm a little bit <laughs> confused. What is this actually? It's, it doesn't look like auto art box. And I hope I read carefully the description of this auction because it doesn't look like the original box. Not at all. So hopefully the original box is just behind this white box. I hope so. I hope so, guys. If not, I would be again super disappointed. Okay? Super disappointed. So another layer is gone, and now surprise, surprise is coming. Well, what to do next? Maybe I can cut it here. And I need another tool for that. It's actually quite small already. Very small and there is a tape. Okay, okay, good. So there is this original auto art box saying Gallardo Lamborghini 1 to 12 replica signature and I'm really looking forward to it okay so this will be one amazing box okay let's do it Guys, unboxing such a huge model is not always the easiest thing you could do in your life. Good, so finally I have it here. <laughs> and now I will change the angle of this camera already. Yeah, so it's in front of me it's right here and it's huge but this is what i expected and here it says auto art signature yeah let me maybe zoom in a little bit so lamborghini italy and this metallic yellow and of course this is from the era when Auto Art was making die-cast models. This should not be uh, the plastic composite like the previous model I reviewed in 1 to 12. Yeah, it was this Porsche 918 Spider, which was uh, quite light and it was uh, plastic. So here it should be really, really uh, metal, true metal. And again, we will need to somehow take it out of the box. So, I don't know, it's so huge, I have difficulties. I really have difficulties, guys. Because I cannot even hold it with one hand. Oh. I need to be how do you do that <laughs> no honestly how do you do that it's I don't like this kind of unboxing you know <laughs> you want to be careful you don't want to scratch anything you don't want to destroy it but it's pretty difficult yeah? it's not coming out of the box and I hope there will be no screws okay so one more time it's like a bird, really. 
taking out of the womb. I'm already sweating. Here we go, finally. And we have already some stuff here. So we have we have a towel. Oh, amazing! We have a towel. We have a very thick brochure with so many pages. Look at that! Oh, wow! I was looking for that. So <laughs> that's great. There is a catalog of all the models. Wow! So many, so many, so many, so many. That's great. I would say amazing. Eh? Amazing. For all the collectors, this is the Holy Grail. And here, the Maybach, my favorite. And all the, all the Mercedes-Benz models, wow. All of them are here, that's really, wow, that's really awesome. Edition 12. So here we see all the 1 to 12. They produced only this, Murcia Lago, uh, then Gallardo few more other models that are not interesting for me like this Jaguar D-Type and this Mercedes-Benz I'm not so much into racing cars and then we have all those beautiful cars wow I have probably never seen this one I didn't know that um, auto art is producing it but okay we are here to unbox something else yeah so here we have an empty bag empty bag okay then we have here uh, something like I would say it's a manual how to pull up the engine cover how to lift it up okay I, I may use it later and then there is this certificate of authenticity saying this is serial number 745 54 sorry 754 and it's this Gallardo, and then we have also a manual here. All right, nice brochure with some text about Lamborghini Gallardo. Then we have the picture from above. We have also some details here. Another page with all those details. I like that they have all those pages and you can also enjoy some reading. It's really a lot of details here in this brochure. Working suspension, rubber cooling pipe for braking system, workable double wishbone suspension, damper support for the bonnet and engine cover. Hopefully I will not break it. Like on my CMC model, I broke those hinges. Okay. So let's put it back yeah, because obviously I will not need it so much. It's just here for fun. But the real content, what is interesting, is inside of the box. Yeah, so now the time is coming for the unboxing. So three, two, one, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, nice towel, nice towel. And here is the model. Wow. Ooh, it's so super heavy. Mm, super heavy. Ah, I like how heavy it is. And here we have some screws, I think. It's it's attached. It's attached here, so I will need to somehow remove it. But let me first put this aside. Yeah, and put this nice Gallardo here on the table. And as I said, it's it's massive. Mm -hmm. So it's heavy and I think it has something like, I don't know, two to three kilos at least. It's much heavier than the previous model that I have uh, from Auto Art. this Spider, Porsche Spider. This one looks more, oh, I need to clean it a little bit. It's a bit dusty. But wow, the wheels, 
The wheels are one of the prettiest wheels I have ever seen. It looks so much realistic. Yeah, and maybe the first thing that I want to do now is to is to remove uh, actually the thing from from uh, the back or from from the bottom here. So here, this one, there are two screws, and I will just remove them now. So my tiny screwdriver. So even if the box was broken, you see that the model is intact. And you already see here uh, how it looks like from the bottom. So here we have some wires, this engine, some details, working suspension. Wow, the tires are soft, yeah, so they really feel like real rubber. And now let me put it here. Wow, this is one excellent piece of model. This is so excellent, wow. I think this is one of the greatest models I have in my collection. Yeah, maybe only here, the paint. Hmm. Okay, let me start the review already. So I will now zoom in a little bit. In the front, and you see here maybe the paint is not perfect, where we see uh, here this little bump, or I don't know how to call it. Yeah, this little gap. Uh, the paint is a little bit less yellow here in this line, but okay, that's nothing critical. By the way, the, this logo is perfect. Nice Lamborghini logo with a bull. Here the gap is really minimalistic. We have this Gallardo uh, license plate. And here, this, is this perforated? Yes, of course, photo etched technology and perforated uh, air intakes. And here we have very nice uh, headlamps, also beautifully done. Oh, is this working or broken or what, what's wrong with this one? I think this one is somehow, I don't know. Maybe this is a little bit, I don't know if this should be like this. You see, it's a little bit soft here and not really holding any position. The glass is very thick and high quality. But now look at the wheels. I think this is the, the greatest highlight uh, from this car. The wheels are absolutely perfect. Yeah, It looks so much beautiful. Of course, they can rotate, they spin absolutely perfectly. They Wow. Amazing. You see this Lamborghini on the brake caliper, you can see the brake disc and it looks so nice. I think this, these are the best brake or no, sorry, the best wheels I have ever seen on any model. And yeah, this is number one, really. And then we have a very nice paint and let me open the door already. I don't know how to do that. Okay, like this. can open it. Okay, one thing that I already realized here, maybe you will agree, maybe not, but you know that this model is not really new, but here, when I touch it, touch it here, there is some kind of rubber, but it's very sticky. When I touch it, it's sticking somehow to my finger. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe it's already aged material here. It's rubber, but it's very sticky. It's like glue, almost like glue. So if there is a particle of dust, it will definitely stick into it and it will be hard to to clean it. So here, this is the, the door handle is okay, but here it's quite sticky. I will also check it on the other side, of course. If the material issue is the same here. Yeah, actually it's the same also here. So. 
I think it's very hard to test the quality of this plastic, uh, but maybe in 10 years some uh, pieces of plastic will uh, have different let's say features or characteristics and one, some sometimes if you have rubber then over the time it somehow deteriorates and here now this is sticky it's like you know i can maybe compare it to a mouse yeah so you have this computer mouse and after some time here this material if you if you touch it then it's somehow peeling off this rubber and i think the same the same happened here with this rubber, but it's okay. Yeah? If I don't touch it, then it will be it will be okay. And then we, here we have the whole part. Okay, I don't want to damage anything. Okay. Wow. But it's somehow not holding up. Oh, it is. It holds up also in this position but now you see the engine the engine bay and what is there let me again zoom in a little bit yeah so we we see the engine here the hinges and this mechanism here um, but i also need to tell you that here we have all the details it's quite nice but since it's not really new it was produced already some time ago i don't know maybe 10 years ago i'm not sure i would need to investigate a little bit more about this model when it was introduced but here it's falling down a little bit yeah so now it's back but it's that's okay i will not be opening it and when we turn the model uh here back in this position and i want to see if there is any button in the back it's not so i will try to open it somehow okay and again very carefully because i don't want to destroy anything again oh it's fully <laughs> yeah it's i don't know why on those models every time when they are not new and somebody already opened it before it's not holding up yeah so i need, i really need to hold it with my hands maybe here if i put a little bit of something uh, here on the hinges and then it will make a little bit of glue or something it will be more difficult to open it and also to close it at the moment i'm not planning to do so but here inside nice carpeting nice materials but not so much anything you know i like uh, those old models uh, with metal because you can do anything but it's heavy really also this part is heavy and this is also one of the reasons why it's difficult to keep it up lift it up and here there is uh this nice uh petrol cap or gas cap uh, and it, you cannot open it actually uh, you mentioned in the last uh, video that sometimes you can open it yeah and i know it already uh, but here it's not possible so let's also review it here in the back a little bit more you see those nice lights the real lights here again perforated uh, net or this black net here a little bit small spoiler we have two exhausts this license plate saying gallardo and we have again massive wheels they really spin well they look perfect and i like them i think the main reason why i bought this model was really that i liked the wheels so much one of the best wheels i have ever seen and I have already reviewed more than 100 models and here the wheels are really really the best so for the wheels i will give it 10 out of 10 yeah maybe for the whole interior let's see i think this model will receive a very high rating but it's also uh, quite large and quite expensive so of course we deserve to have all the details and now let me check inside yeah so now you see here the steering wheel 
Oh, it's also sticky. What the hell is wrong with this model? Look, you see her. Look at how pieces of my skin, yeah, which are peeling off, are somehow staying. I will not even touch it, yeah. I will keep it just like it is. Maybe it was displayed somewhere on a direct sun and uh, it, without any UV filter. And what happened is that some of the plastic parts just uh, somehow deteriorated. And here we have carpeting, so that's nice. Uh, the rubber, also the rubber here on the seat, it's also sticky. It's all sticking. Maybe can you, can somebody in the comments explain to me what the hell happened with this interior? We have here uh, the seat belt, but now I have this focus here on the manual transmission. So this Gallardo, no matter how beautiful it is, it still has manual transmission. I'm not a big fan of manual transmission, but here we go. It has a manual. Yeah, I don't think that manual transmission belongs to a supercar, super sports car. Maybe to some rally, rally cars, or if uh, you are really passionate about shifting. But here, if you want to enjoy the speed, I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. So again, steering wheel, gouges, clusters here, the radio, air conditioning, all the details. Here, the glove box, you are not able to open it. If you touch it here, the dashboard, it's okay, it's not sticking. But here, <laughs> everything which is actually yellow, everything with this yellow color, it's somehow, I don't know. <laughs> and of course, we have also the manual handbrake here. There is no button because, yeah, this car is quite old, 2003, I guess. And there were no uh, automatic uh, brakes. Like here, you have this a huge uh, manual brake uh, that you need to uh, lift up lift up if you want to brake the car completely. Yeah, so that's basically the interior. See here you also have this Gallardo sign, very nice detail. And also here, this is quite, quite good material. Of course, the side mirrors fully reflective, so that's amazing how they look like. Yes, look at that. Perfect. So now how to close the door and just pull it. Okay, it's there. Good. I will also do it with the second door. Now fully close it. And now zoom out a little, little bit again. So this is the car, my new Gallardo. And I said that I will not uh, collect so many 1 to 12 models, only those ones which are really brilliant. I still focus on 1 to 18 limousines and I already have almost all of them. I'm just waiting for um, three models that I know that they, they will come. It's this uh, Bentley limousine, yeah, the long one from uh, Almost Real. Then I'm waiting also for uh, the Toyota, ah, what's the name? It's not Toyota Crown, it's Imperial. No, I will show you the picture. Okay, it's here now, the picture is here. And I'm also waiting for the Zill, the Russian limousine. Apart from that, sometimes I also have fun with some other unconventional models like this one. It's so beautiful, so huge and so lovely. Yeah, I really love it. I love the wheels, as I told you. I will be really watching it every evening before I go sleeping. Those wheels are so nice. <laughs> okay, guys, so I think now uh, it's only time for the final rating. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.